we think he had a medical emergency in that area and accelerated and, and came into the, uh, the testing area. So he actually missed two shacks before hitting another one? Uh, he actually impacted two other vehicles before he hit the shacks. Ah. So there, there are two other vehicles involved. Uh, no injuries from those as far as I uh, could gather. Um, and that's where we're at right now. Anything else? So everyone that was injured that was transported, they are uh, employees, staff, those workers? I don't have that, I don't have that information right now. So the, the question about the uh, people that were tr transported. Wait, wait, what's your name? Oh, I'm sorry. And, and just spell it for everybody. This is, I'm uh, Dr. Richard Orlandi, O-R-L-A-N-D-I. I'm the Associate Chief Medical Officer for University of Utah Health. Uh, the answer to your question about uh, the people that were transported besides the driver, oh, yeah. the others that were transported were employees. The, uh, the individuals that were in the cars that were struck were uh, not transported. How serious were the injuries? I don't have any information on the seriousness of the injuries right now. So how's this going to affect COVID testing? So obviously our testing site here will be not operational today. We've gone ahead and contacted all the individuals who had appointments to be tested here today, routed them to other sites. All the individuals with testing appointments here at the stadium tomorrow will also be count contacted and routed to other sites. We're gonna get this uh, site back up and operational as soon as possible so we can serve uh, the Wasatch Front and the citizens of Utah with coronavirus testing. So um, right now we have testing at our South Jordan site, Farmington Health Center, as well as um, our Redwood Health Centers. Many of our sites are beginning to do additional testing with their patients already, um, we, uh, such as our Red uh, Stone Center in Park City. But the, our main sites, there are uh, three others. How much of an impact will this make on testing? Like, how many patients do you guys see on a daily basis? Sure. We test um, for coronavirus we're at our sites outdoors like this. We're testing about 1,500 to 1,600 patients per day. Uh, one quarter of that volume is here, and we will be, again, rerouting that to our other sites, uh, asking our employees to pitch in a little bit more uh, at those sites and go the extra mile to be able to serve the people of Utah. The five that were treated and released here, I don't have the information on who was an employee and who was in the cars uh, that were patients. I'm guessing, so then the ones that were transported, you don't know if they were actually inside. And how many employees were in there at this time? I don't, uh, I don't have that information right now. We have employees that are in the booths and moving back and forth. I don't have the information on how many were in the booth when the accident happened. Will this change, will you guys be evaluating any changes or you feel comfortable with the safety and, and the way things turned out and continuing to keep the structure the same? After any incident like this, we're going to be looking at this to determine what more we can do to, uh, to promote the safety of our patients and our staff. So we'll be evaluating that and continuing to try to learn and provide the best quality care for our patients and the highest safety for our staff. Does this um, mean that there will be some patients that just can't get tested? I know you're going to reroute them, but I mean, does that, do they have, do you have a limited number of tests that you can do now because of this event? No, we believe right now that we will be able to accommodate our normal volume of testing. This is a very fluid situation, as one might imagine, so we're going to be looking at that throughout the afternoon and into the evening. Right now, for the next day or two, we feel that we can accommodate the volume that we have been at our other testing sites, and we'll take it from there day by day.